<laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy Justin Norm. Have you ever had the time when you was trying to work on a song in your DAW or digital audio workstation and you didn't know how you were going to be able to do the song because you didn't have a keyboard and maybe you didn't have an audio interface and maybe you didn't even have a microphone. Um, all you had was your computer and a keyboard and a mouse. Well, today I'm going to show you how, and hopefully I'm not peeking, <laughs> No pun intended. Uh, I'm going to show you how uh, to record just a simple, generic type of song or beat just using your cakewalk. Stay tuned. Just a norm. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Justin Norm. Hey, I hope you all are having a great night. Uh, this is something that I wanted to do. I wanted to start a new series, which I entitle, um, and this will be like a playlist, not a real series, but a playlist uh, entitled Cakewalk Band Labs, Tutorials, um, Tips, Trades, Tricks, whichever. Um, most of you know, some of you all may know, some of you all may not know, but... Uh, I'm go by just a norm. I am a music artist and starting to become a digital artist. <clears throat> I've been working on that. Got my pen right here. Um, so I'm learning new things daily, but I wanted to take time and you might be looking at my apartment. <laughs> you can see the washing machine and dryer. So I'm in a small apartment, but I got, you know, the love of my family, my three children and my beautiful wife. Um, so we're blessed, you know, just to be doing things. Um, a little bit about me, you know, and we'll get to this video. Um, I've been in music for almost 30 years now, uh, actually over 30 years, but realistically almost 30 years. I started playing drums at the age of one and um, my dad was constantly in bands and performing quite a bit so I got a chance to you know be surrounded and saturated by music so music just called to me so it was something that I'd rather do than play with toys or go outside ride a bike or anything like that I just loved music so music has always been a part of me so I decided to go ahead and pursue music Learn some instruments, learn keyboards, learn drums, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I went to school, got a degree in it. Uh, and I teach music now. I actually got on my school T-shirt, uh, <laughs> City Garden Montessori School. Um, so it's a it's a great thing to be a music educator. Great thing to be an educator. Period. Uh, which is why I love doing these type of tutorials. Uh, I see them quite a bit, and um, not saying that. Uh, there's a lot of valuable information out on YouTube, but sometimes it's hard to find certain things that you you know that you're looking for. So I know um, this series with Cakewalk by Band Labs. If you remember, Cakewalk was um, you know software company. They they had the Cakewalk which original, then they had the Sonar series that came out. Sonar was excellent. There was a lot of things that you could do with it. I've been a huge Sonar and Cakewalk fan. Uh, probably since computers like really started coming out on the market but so going all the way back to the I want to say early 90s if I'm correct um, and I could be wrong don't, don't quote me on that but been doing it for a while uh, my dad we've always had like a home studio or a small studio this is kind of my setup it's not really much but this is just this is what it is, you know. So today's episode is called How to Use Cakewalk by Band Labs to Create a Song or Create a Beat, whatever you want to call it, but only using your computer and your keyboard and, of course, your mouse. All right, and so you probably asked me, okay, well, what's so special about that? 
Um, what's special about it is that because I do have a keyboard over here, like a playing piano, playing keyboard, uh, I do have an audio interface. So those are other tools that you can use. But if you didn't have any of that stuff and all you had was just a computer, that's pretty much all you need nowadays. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, one cool thing, Cakewalk. If you're not familiar with Cakewalk, um, first of all, you got to get it because it's a free software. Allows you to do a lot of different things. You can do videos, got unlimited tracks, you got special you know, effects, that, not special, but effects that come with it. Um, you know, it's just it's phenomenal software. Um, so you need to check it out. And you can find the link for that below. So I have that. So if you want to download it, great. Oh, by the way, and if you haven't subscribed to Just a Norm, you need to go ahead and do that. You know, I don't know what you're waiting on. You know, it's 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 pretty simple. Just go. Click the subscribe button. Click the alerts so you get notifications every time that I release a video. Um, I'm trying to get more consistent with this thing. I want to take this YouTube thing serious this year. And I'm not expecting to get a million followers. I'm not expecting to get a hundred. I mean, if I'm grateful if I get a thousand followers. Uh, I'm grateful for all the followers that I have right now. Uh, but I'm, I just want to give out, you know, share information that I've learned and things that I'm still learning. Like some of this stuff is stuff I'm figuring out, you know, so it's like when I figure out something, I'm like, oh, I, I should record that. Uh, I don't know if you've watched the video that I uh, did about my washer and dryer. So washer and dryer, Amana, you can actually find that video uh, straight below too as well. And uh, you might be able to see the link up above if you want to go watch that but if you having trouble with your washer and dryer and you don't know how to fix it and you know and you don't feel like spending three hundred dollars to get it fixed or a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars just to get someone to look at it um you need to go ahead and try to look at that video and there were some tips that i took to try to fix it and matter of fact i'm gonna make another video because i gotta go back and do some more work to it so uh but i fixed it and i was i think that was probably a year or two years ago and you know and it's been running great uh, it's just a few more things that I need to, to work out, you know, so things go old, but why not fix it yourself? So anyway, with enough said, let's jump into it. All right. You should be able to see my cakewalk screen. And hopefully I've got this set up correctly and you can hear the sound. Um... I'll make another video. There's plenty out there on how you can get your DAW, your digital audio workstation, to play the sound and record. I'm using OBS Stream right now. So OBS is a free software that you can use uh, to record and run multiple devices, cameras. I mean, the whole shenanigans. You can run everything on this thing. So it's a pretty cheap, free, amazing software. Um, I have to make sure I clarify that it's a pretty free. <laughs> Woo, it's late at night and I'm tired. So, but uh, sometimes I get like this. I'm a goofy person. So, and, and I, I know I don't really do enough videos where I talk and, about me and what I do. And uh, so I'm trying to get more personable, you know. So, you're not just like looking at somebody do speed art, but you can also put a face to the person uh, rather than just looking at my picture. All right. So, I. I'm going to create a new project. So let's get started. Uh, here is Cakewalk down here. You can see at the bottom, I opened it up. Here it is, it looks like this. I'm gonna press new project. They have these little templates in here that you can use. You can use a template if you want to. Sometimes I like to start with a empty project. Uh, if you hear me like doing that quite a bit, cause it's like, I need to get some water, but I wanna record this real quick. Um, so I'm a, I'm gonna do an empty project real quick. All right, now this is not gonna be extreme, and I'm not trying to put like a thousand tracks on this, and uh, and it might not be like the best song uh, because this is just for a tutorial purpose. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I'm just making something. So I'm just letting you know I'm just making something. I don't know what I'm gonna make. Uh, <laughs> this is all like straight fresh. All right, so there's a lot of stuff here to look at. But what we want to do first is we want to create a track, okay? You can press plus sign up here, add track. You can right click, insert audio track, insert MIDI track, insert instrument. For this case, we're going to insert an instrument. So I'm going to insert an instrument. Um, 
And then there are some sounds that come with Cakewalk already. Of course, you can, you know, install VSTs or extra plugins that you have, instrument plugins. Um, for the most part, right now, I had an older computer that crashed back in May, and I haven't upgraded yet. So I'm using, uh, I mean, this laptop is fine. It's a Dell, you know, Core i7. It works great for this, but I had a lot of plugins on my other computer. And so, yeah, you know, that's how it is. Sometimes you lose things. So I'm going to click on, let's do, uh, let's do drum kit. Okay, let's do drum kit. All right, so drum kit, I'm just going to create one track. All right, we're going to keep this very simple, very simple. Um, feel free to leave comments, like, you know, share this. If it, you know, if it helps you out in any way. Uh, I don't really see a lot of tutorials for Cakewalk by Band Lab sometimes. And I might be wrong. Maybe I'm looking the wrong place, but I wanted to do something. Uh, okay. And hopefully you can hear the sound. I know there's going to be some latency on this. I don't know how loud this thing is going to be. Hope it's not real loud. Let me turn this volume down just a little bit. Because I don't want to blow you up. Okay, that's probably better. All right. Okay, so here we go. And let me turn this back this way. Make it louder. Okay. All right. That's better. I'll keep it right there. All right. So, I got a drum set. I don't need to have that open right now, but if I want to change the drum sets, um, we'll talk about that another time because I mean, you could take apart some of these instruments. Like, there's a lot of different features that you can put to it. All right. So, how am I going to record something on here? Uh, first of all, let's set my metronome. Let's put it to, I don't know. Let's put it to 80. Let's put it to 80. Metronome is right here at the top. I'm going to stay in common time, 44 time. Uh, I'm at 44.116. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm on using my MME versus using my ASIO drivers uh, because some reason it's kind of hard to get it to work with ASIO sometimes. I might play with it some more. You can tell that this hard drive is almost full. <laughs> It says I have four gigs left because I've been doing a lot of video recording and that's a lot of stuff I have to edit and then I have to get that stuff off and probably put it on another hard drive or something like that. Um, this is why I've got to upgrade. That's something I'm planning to do within the next month or two. So stay tuned for that and we'll talk about the system that I come up with. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put record. Uh, we got our tempo at 80 and we are going to go up to uh, views. And then we're going to go down to either virtual controllers, computer keyboard, or piano keyboard. So the piano keyboard uh, looks like this, you know. Okay, and then you can move it around by transposing. Okay, nothing right there. Okay, there's my bass drum and snare. Okay. Now I can tell this is going to be really weird because my latency is a little bit off. I'm going to see if I can make this better. Hopefully I can adjust this latency where it doesn't make things sound all garbled on this recording. But I'm going to lower it just a little bit so it can get uh, better latency. Because right now when I press it, there's such a delay. It's really crazy. So ideally, if you was using ASIO drivers, you could do this and it'd be easy because like as soon as you hit it, and I've actually made like, uh, I made like some, you know, like some little beats, you know, just using this stuff. Okay, so now hopefully it's better. Go back up to view, I'm gonna click on, uh, but I'm gonna use the computer keyboard actually, I think, because the computer keyboard, I can almost play it like a drum, like I would on a keyboard. All right. Just trying to see where all my drums are. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. There we go. I got my little virtual kit, and hopefully you can hear it well. This is what I'm gonna do. I'll put that there just so I can see it. And uh, there's 
three settings on this for recording. You can right click on it. Uh, comping, of course, you know, if you're a vocalist or a musician, this is your best friend because you can comp multiple parts of the same or multiple takes. Um, override is good. Sometimes I don't ever use that, but I do like sound on sound. I'm going to use sound on sound for right now. Press apply. Press close. All right. So here we go. Now. Uh, I'm just going to now I can also tap this in if I wanted to do it, you know with my finger I mean with my mouse, but that would be pointless because this makes it cool. Uh, let's put a Let's put a Click on my metronome and Let's put a count in for one bar And it's gonna okay good. And that's all good Okay All right, let's hope that this works this is my first time ever like trying to record like everything and getting a sound. So I mean this is this is great. Hopefully it just sounds good. Hopefully you all get some value out of it. Alright, I can press the R button. Notice R is is grayed out because R is the shortcut for record. Press R. Said, oh, that was so horrible. Um, I've got to adjust this just a little bit so I can hear it a little better. But let's see what we got. I stopped a little early stopped a little early but this is cool we just make this tutorial real short I'm gonna drag this over some more all right actually no I'll keep it where it is because it seems like I came in late now I can quantize this um, quantization is up here highlighted process quantize and let's say I want to keep it at 16 we'll see if that works Ooh, okay, yeah, no, that did not work. All right, and that's got a lot to do with the latency. Uh, so I undid that. Control Z is to undo something. Uh, I can play around with this some more. Maybe 16 triplets. Let's see. Well, that's crazy. That's so crazy. All right. But anyway, we're going to leave it like it is. We're going to leave it like it is. This is just a tutorial, just, you know, so you can have some fun with it. I don't expect this to be like the number one banger that you're going to hear on a radio or something like that. This is not what it's about. I mean, I can write and I can produce and I can do stuff like that. But this is just about uh, having some fun and, and not limiting yourself to uh, the excuse that you need all this equipment to put out songs uh, there's another tutorial that I can make um, and I'll probably make one like this you know about other apps that you can download samples and plugins from to help you produce your sound uh, splice is one program that's really well you can see that description below uh, or not description but the link for it uh, splice is um, amazing so amazing uh, when I discovered it a few years ago, whew, it changed the game. It's got a lot of sounds in it. I also do a lot of stuff with vocals. But anyway, let me stop talking because let's get to another instrument. All right, so we, we're done with that. Let's uh, add another instrument and let's say we're going to do some bass now. So bass, bass guitar, create the track. All right, bass guitar is going to come up. It's cool bass sounds. Uh, there's different basses in here.
Okay. I'm gonna get you something real quick. I need to turn this application up just a little bit, I think. Put that back. I don't really need that, but okay. Yeah, this is a voice meter, which is what I'm using to try to record this stuff. Um, and hopefully it's working. That's better. Now I can hear it a little louder. Okay, I'm just gonna pick one note. All right, we're gonna go on A, I guess that's where we're gonna go on, which is my letter H on here. Uh, and let's press W. See if W works on this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go back to the very beginning. Got my H, press record. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this happens quite a bit. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you. you like, oh wow, you're getting ready to do an amazing bass solo and then you realize you recorded it on top of another track. Uh, that's the reason why I do that blend on blend for one reason, so I don't just overwrite something automatically. All right, here we go. Put a little surprise note at the end. All right, we just we just grooving, y'all. We just grooving. It's not it's not really like meant to be the perfect sounding instrument. Okay, and I might move this actually over. I might start it right there. Now, here we go. Uh, of course, I'm gonna press Control Save because we don't ever want to lose our work. And I'm just gonna call this uh, <laughs> Cakewalk Tutorial One. I just put one. One. There we go. All right, now I'll call it that. Uh huh. Okay. Make sure you always save your work. Please remember to do that. All right, let's see. Okay, now after that, all right, and you're saying, okay, yeah, you got a little weird, you know, uh, type of vibe going on with this song. Yeah, it is kind of weird, uh, but you know what? You never know. So now, if I was really going to use this track, and I know that this, first of all, like I said, latency is not your best friend. Now, I could lower this, but I just want to keep it clean because I don't want to, like, eventually, if you lower it too much, it'll start getting garbled. And you'll hear all the staticky noise in the recording. And hopefully you don't hear that now. Hopefully you don't hear that now. Because I can't tell. But uh, but we just want to have some fun with this. All right, let's do another instrument. Uh, I'm just going to do electric piano. All right, so we'll do electric piano. And um, this is it's pretty, so pretty. Okay. Now, um, I'll keep it on that sound, whatever it's on. Now, if I want to go up the octave, I can go up the octave. Uh, there's an octave switch here. I can press X. Take me up the octave. All right, okay. Uh, I had to crop one part out because my wife had walked by. Um, so here I am. 
let me exit out of that, but you can see how it works on there. Let's go back to the piano keyboard. Oop, wrong one. Sorry. Like I said, sometimes you're moving too fast. Computer keyboard. Also, I'm going to press Alt-0. It would have brought it up as well. All right, so here we go. Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong octave now. play that chord all right here we go on the top make sure I got my record set because I always forget to do that It is so hard to do this when you have this latency going on. Now, if I really wanted to fine tune and edit this, I can go in, I can look at the staff, and I can set these where I really wanted them to go, or I can go in and look at the events, um, which might be another cool video to talk about. Um, where is it at? Um, piano roll view is one. So you can look at that here, and then I can go through and I can put the notes where I wanted them at and line them up, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, if I wanted to edit this, I really could, you know, make it sound better. But for now, this is just a tutorial just to show you how to do it. Uh, then we'll talk more about like adding effects and cleaning it up on another video. All right, so I got my two tracks and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I click that spark too so I can move this around I think I'm gonna move this just where the other one was uh, I don't need to stress it out any but let's see what we got is you know my little simple song uh, it might not be spectacular it's just something to do um, then after that if I wanted to copy and paste I can do that or you know roll them out more if I wanted to add more sounds I can do that I can add other parts I can go in and EQ and put surround sound on certain parts and pan and shift everything okay but I'm not gonna do all that for this tutorial this is just to show you that you can use just it might take a little bit more work, but like I said, if you have it set for ASIO drivers, uh, it works great. But for the purpose of recording this video, I switched to MME, um, and I can adjust the latency if I want to, but I just put it at a higher latency, keep it safer so your computer doesn't freeze up because recording and trying to record a video is totally crazy to do at the same time. All right, let's play it one more time, uh, and then... Uh, we'll we'll end this thing. So I hope you all have been enjoying Just the Norm. Um, I also just finally, I think I think it's in fact maybe it's still rolling in, but I have my official artist channel now uh, because I had two channels. I had my topic channel, which had my music, Just the Norm music, uh, and then I had my like you know YouTube channel that I'm trying to grow myself. Um, so they're merged together now, so you can see everything. Hopefully this helps people find me better. Um, a lot of stuff is going on. I've got my Just the Art uh, brand that I'm pushing now that I'm doing for digital portraits and cover art and things like that. So I think that's it. So I hope you all enjoy it. Please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. I love comments. 
uh, and hopefully I can respond to all of them. But thank you so much for your support. All right, let's listen to this one more time. Okay. All right. That's that's the tutorial. This is part one. Hey, stay tuned. We'll continue on this um, Tuesday and Saturday. Every Tuesday and Saturday, I'm trying to post. Every Tuesday and Saturday. So, um, yeah. <laughs>